Hi there, welcome to English 101. My name is Lauren York, and I will be your instructor for the semester. I want to start off by just saying how excited I am to work with you. I truly love teaching, and I love working with students, and I also enjoy talking about writing. So I'm truly excited about all that we can accomplish together this semester. In this video, to help with that, I want to talk a little bit more about our course and what you can expect, but also introduce myself so you get to know who you're going to be working with. So I'll start off by just telling you a little bit more about me. Like I said, my name's Lauren York, and I've been at Lincoln Land since 2018. And in that time, I found that Lincoln Land truly feels like a second home to me. I love the people I work with, especially the students. I love seeing your growth and your accomplishments throughout the semesters. And I especially love that I get to do something that I'm passionate about every single day. And I hope to bring that passion and engagement to our class to also help you develop that love for writing or strengthen an enjoyment for writing as well. Now, I, um, before coming to Lincoln Land, I actually worked at Illinois State University for several years. And I also worked at Heartland Community College. And before then, I started my teaching career in high school. So I've taught everything from high school, community college, to working at a four-year university. And I think those experiences have just helped me gain an appreciation for my students and for what happens outside the classroom, inside the classroom, and seeing all that you take on and where you end up is what is truly rewarding to me. Now, I do live in Bloomington, Illinois, and so I commute to campus typically. And I live there with my husband and my two children, Macy and Jackson. My son, Jackson, is actually a pandemic baby. He was born two weeks before the whole world shut down. And he is my silly, sweet boy, while my daughter, Macy, she is our feisty firecracker. And I'm sure I'll be sharing stories about our family throughout the semester and hoping to get to know you a bit more. But in my free time, I love boating on the lake. We're avid boaters, and we truly enjoy just doing anything outside. So that's a bit more about me, and I'm sure I'll share more as we get to know each other throughout the semester. But I do want to focus a bit on what you can expect from our class this semester. So as you know, this is English 101, Composition 1, and we'll be focused on writing. But we will probably focus on writing in a way that is maybe different than what you've done in previous composition classes. And I say that because we're going to look at writing this semester not as if there's one perfect formulaic way to approach writing in every single scenario. But instead, we're going to really invest in your writing processes, your habits, and your skills. My goal for you this semester is to become what I call a writing researcher, which is someone who researches what is expected in writing a specific type of text, along with the specific expectations from the situation you'll be writing for. And because of that, we'll talk a lot about two specific terms this semester. We'll talk about genre, and we'll talk about the rhetorical situation. Genre is essentially the type of text you're composing. So it could be a text message, an email, a letter, a blog post, a tweet, an essay. All of those are types of genres. And so when we look at what we are composing, a lot of times we can understand expectations of writing in that specific type of genre, which helps us understand how to best meet those expectations before you begin doing so. Now, at the same time, we're going to look at the rhetorical situation, which is the situation you're writing for. So who is your audience? What are you hoping to accomplish by composing a specific genre? And that's where sometimes expectations for genres get molded a bit or adapted based on the situation, based on the audience. So an example I use, if we think of the genre of an email, a lot of times we know that the genre has specific expectations, like having a subject line, a proper greeting, they're brief, and then you'll have a closing with your name at the end. But sometimes in certain scenarios, those expectations may be adapted or even emphasized a bit more. So think of myself, for example, if I was writing an email to the vice president at our college, I would use very formal language, I would use a proper um, introduction and a proper greeting. Whereas this summer when I was writing an email to my friends as we were planning a vacation together, 
we used more informal language. I didn't necessarily need that dear so-and-so, that formal greeting. So those expectations get adapted. And that's why there's truly not one way to write, but instead when we understand expectations of the context that we're writing for, we often succeed. So that in a nutshell is how we'll approach writing this semester. To help with that too, one of the unique things about our class is that the writing projects you complete, they will all build on each other and you'll be writing about a similar theme this semester so you can see how you adapt content for different genres. You'll write a narrative project and then pull ideas from that project into an academic article to eventually a public service announcement. And you'll see how we meet those different conventions as you write different genres is truly my goal. Now, I'd like to end by just talking a bit more about my role in the course, as well as your role and my expectations of you this semester. So I will say that I am someone who is incredibly involved and I am engaged. You will hear from me every single week. I will be actively giving you feedback on your writing throughout the semester. I truly enjoy getting to know you and getting to see your progress as we go. Now, at the same time, I am someone who will challenge you. I want to see you grow. I want to see you make progress so you succeed beyond our class. And because of that, I have high expectations, but they are reasonable expectations. If you put in the work, if you reach out and ask questions, if you are engaged as well, you will succeed this semester and I will be your biggest champion in helping you do that. So as much as I have those high expectations, the other thing I'd like to emphasize is that I am also human. I am someone who understands that life happens outside of our classroom. And if something ever comes up, I truly want to hear from you and want to be able to help you with whatever is going on. You can always reach out and let me know whatever happened and if I can help you in any way, I will be here. So those are some things I'd emphasize about myself. Um, for, in regards to your role and especially how you can succeed this semester, again, being engaged and being proactive. So completing work each and every day in our class is something important, especially in an online environment where we are not regularly meeting together at the same time. It's important to pace yourself throughout our modules and throughout the deadlines that I've set up. And doing that, one way of going about it is really completing work each day. I will also post announcements twice a week in our class. And so watching for those announcements is really important. That's one of the biggest tips I can give you to succeed because I point out things that we need to be aware of for that week or things I notice going on with your writing. So watch for those announcements from me. And then finally, reach out whenever you need help or clarification about something we're talking about, feedback on your writing. I am always here to help, but a lot of times you, let, you need to let me know if there's a way that I can help you beyond what's already happening in our class. So those are some of the biggest tips I'd give you to get started with this semester and just some of the ideas I'll give you about what we'll be exploring together. But again, like I said, we'll be working on becoming writing researchers together. And my hope is that by doing so, you will gain those skills, you'll gain those habits to succeed as you write in whatever scenarios you encounter beyond our class because you'll have the skills to do so. I'm really looking forward to going on this journey together. Please reach out if you have questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your work. Have a wonderful day.